Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map for you. A shocking turn of events now has a new leader in the polls. Tell us who you want to win. Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and sub. And when we begin our electoral map fill-ins, we are going to be starting with Washington. 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump and Republicans. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Nevada is gray. It's a toss-up now. It goes back and forth between pink, dark red, and light blue. So it will not be filled in. Arizona with 11 electoral votes is a toss-up again. Leans heavily blue, but every once in a while is pink. So it is a toss-up. It is gray. It will not be filled in. The same as yesterday. Utah with six electoral votes and Mitt Romney is red for Donald Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. North Dakota with three electoral votes on the top right is red for Donald Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Nebraska with four electoral votes in a couple of districts is red for Donald Trump and one of the districts is also red with one vote and another district is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is pink, but it leans red for Donald Trump. Now for New Mexico and Colorado with 10 and five electoral votes respectively, is blue for Kamala Harris. And New Mexico. Yep. Minnesota, don't you know, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin is in a shocking turn of events, not really. A toss up state once more will not be colored in. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is now pink. For Donald Trump, Lynch Republican. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, is gray once again. It leans heavily blue. It leaned red a little bit for a bit, but now it's great to toss up once more. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is pink but leans heavily red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia with 16 electoral votes and a shocking turn is once again a toss-up state. It will not be colored in. South Carolina is nine electoral votes and red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina was leaning red, sometimes leans blue, but is now a toss-up as well. It will not be colored in. Virginia, where the roads and food are great, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, is grayed out. It will not be colored in. It's a toss-up once more. Now, the rest of them, such as 
Maryland, the District of Washington, D.C., Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, Rose Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, and the like Philadelphia are all blue for Kamala Harris. The blue wave is incoming. This leads Kamala Harris and the Democrats with 222 electoral votes, Donald J. Trump and Republicans with 216. With all these toss-up states now, who will win? Who can possibly win? We had a red wave. We had a blue splash. A blue wave and a red splash. Puddles. Cricks. And now we're having waves. The country is undecided. Have you decided who you are voting for? Tell us who and why in the comments. Baby, who do you want to win? Trump. And why? So he can make America great. And that's all, folks. You heard it here first. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Electorally voted out. <laughs> I can't talk without speaking. Or I can't... I can't, <laughs> can't talk about speaking. That's the point of talking. <laughs> I can't talk without laughing. Well, good thing it didn't. Okay. <laughs>